So unless you guys have lived under a rock for the last five years, you know that gaming montages are one of the biggest things on YouTube. And there's nothing worse than having the best gaming clips, but you don't know how to edit them into a montage for yourself. But that's where I come in. I'm going to be showing you guys how you can edit your very own montage, whether it's Fortnite, Valorant, Call of Duty, you name it, for 100% free. That's the best part. This is actually going to be inside of DaVinci Resolve, which is a free software completely. So it costs nothing to follow along along with this tutorial and get started today but if you guys do enjoy and you want to support me make sure to like comment subscribe we're so close to 100,000 subscribers the links to everything will be down below in the description and yeah i hope you guys do enjoy okay guys so the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to boot up davinci resolve the software that we are using like i mentioned in the intro and all you got to do to download this is just check out the link at the top of the description to check out davinci download it you just fill in all your information and then it's good to go from there now from there we're going to go into a new project and i'm going to call this game gaming montage and press enter and quickly before i get into the tutorial i want to quickly mention my brand new 2024 ultimate editing pack that i literally just released and this pack includes absolutely everything you could possibly need for anything involving editing content etc i have over 100 different fortnite presets as well as stuff for your content tiktok and youtube automation library video and audio memes practice clips for fortnite practice footage for editing your own videos literally anything you could ever imagine i don't have the link to actually go check it out down below so make sure to go check it out it literally costs less than a mcdonald's meal and you're going to be able to make so much money from these different presets to actually edit your own stuff or edit client stuff but i don't want to take up any more time so go check it out using the link at the top of the description as well as the pinned comment and let's get right back to the video chances are if you are watching this video you're a 100 beginner don't worry i got you i'm going to try my best to go slow the funny thing is i've seen a lot of people say that they watch my tutorials in 0.75 speed and it's a better speed of talking so if you guys want to do that go try that out but yeah if you go into the edit tab you go up here to file project settings make sure we actually initialize this every single time we make a project so this is going to be 1920 by 1080 i know that's kind of the industry standard for youtube videos gaming montages whatever a lot of people also do 1440 just do 1080p if you are starting out and we're actually going to make sure our frame rate set to 60 because that is the best 60 is the best for montages i know a lot of people say 30 60 trust me if you're starting do 60 now we're going to press save on that there now there are two things that every montage needs clips and a song so if you don't know how to do it go check out a tutorial on youtube on how you could actually save your own but i have a tutorial on how you could save clips that's also going to be in the description but once you got both of those come back to the video and we'll go from there okay so once i actually have my song and clips ready to go i'm just going to navigate on over to wherever i saved it to so for example i'm just going to drag in pay me by eric Reppard, and then what i'm also going to do is i'm going to navigate on over to a folder where i have fortnite clips and i'm going to drag those in so basically when it comes to fortnite mon montages call of duty montages anything you always have songs with beat drops and you sync up those big moments in the clips to the beat drops and the song so this is going to be pretty universal but for this example i'm going to be showing fortnite so you can follow along with call of duty same exact concept so i'm going to drag in the song here into the timeline and we're actually just going to look for the first beat drop of the song so we can see that's actually going to be right here and we're just going to add a marker by pressing m on our keyboard uh and that's how you add markers so we're going to add that first beat drop and we can see right here just because if you look at the audio even you can see it spikes right here so this is where we're going to add the second one there we go perfect so all i'm going to do now is i'm going to blade tool by either pressing b on our keyboard or we can come up here to blade so if you ever need to cut anything you can just press b on your keyboard switch to the blade tool cut it up that's how you do that um but then we can just drag it down to the second layer and just everything is good now here's where it gets a little bit more difficult but it's also super easy once you get the hang of it you're just going to double click on whatever clip you want to use next and we're going to find that main part of the clip so in fortnite we're going to find the kill valorant you could also find the kill call of duty kill CSGO kill if you have a cool like goal in a game like a sports game you can use that um but we're gonna come after that moment so the kill had already happened we're gonna press this arrow and we're gonna come before we're gonna press this arrow and then that way we have this little small segment right here now for fortnite you can find the shotgun pellets and that's going to be the actual moment that we're going to be syncing up um if you let's say score a goal in a soccer game you can add a marker to wherever you get the goal or whenever the ball goes in the net for call of duty when you get your elimination as well but those are just kind of examples and we're going to add a marker to that point and we're just going to line it up with the existing marker that we have so that's basically that so when we play it back it'll look something like this 
Like we can see it's pretty synced up and that's what we're going for, which is great. And all we have to do is repeat that with all the clips in the montage and all the beats on the song. So for example, we come after, go before, and then we find our kill right here. Perfect, press M, sync that up. Drag this out on the left side just to kind of fill that duration. That's basically how we do that. You just kind of repeat that process throughout the entire video. Um, that's that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to be focusing on doing slow-mos. Now I'm going to show the super easy way and how you can do slow-mo in DaVinci because you guys are beginners, like I said, and this is a beginner's tutorial. So what we're going to do is we're going to come through and we're going to unlink every clip. Now to do this, you just right click on the actual clip itself, press the check mark here to unlink it. Now we can select the audio and the video of the clip separately. We're going to press our blade tool and we're going to come to our marker and we're going to cut it. So we can see that this is by itself. Now do the same thing with this one, unlink it, cut it on the kill. So we have the after kill kind of separate now we're going to right click and we're going to go to change clip speed and change it to something like 60 percent now we can see we got that slow-mo on the kill which is exactly what we're going for so just like this 60 you can do 50 45 40 is kind of pushing it i do in the range of kind of 45 to 60 depending on the clip but we can see my main my biggest tip to make your videos look better uh, when you're doing slow-mo for the first time is click on it go up here to your top right in the inspector go to read time process and change this to optical flow it'll make it super smooth look better that's exactly what you're going for and that is basically that now when it comes to effects on your clips you can do it in davinci i have some kind of advanced super easy for drag and drop you can literally look up glow like a davinci resolve effect change the shine threshold for example and then just adjust the blend depending on how bright you want it to be so you can have your blend at like one or 0.5 or whatever but let me quickly show you guys something super cool and i go more over effects in my advanced tutorials if you guys want to check that out but let me quickly show you something that i talked about earlier my edit pack i'll show you quickly an effect from it so we could just drag in our adjustment clip this is if you do have my edit pack and you'd be able to actually drag in a preset just like this drag in the impact and from there all you do is you would connect this to the shake connect this like that and go like this and then you would go in and you'd adjust these keyframes pretty easy i show you guys how to actually do this in the advanced tutorial as well as in my pack itself so if you guys do end up picking up the pack you guys should go check out my other tutorial showcasing this in depth but this is what it basically looks like once we actually have it on the clip so You know, we got that shake with the flicker and all that. It looks super cool. That's basically an example from my edit pack directly. So if you are interested in that, go check that out. And I showcase how to actually use that in the pack itself, as well as my advanced tutorial, which is going to be down below. But if you are a beginner, and you don't want to check it out. Trust me. It's all good. I have some free presets down below in the description as well for you guys to check out. But I quickly want to touch on the transitions that DaVinci offers. You can just drag and drop these cross dissolve, for example, something like that. Blur dissolves are also really cool. You can also use these kind of motion ones like zoom in, out, left, right, that kind of thing. We got like a rotate 90 degrees one. That's that. And that is basically how you do that. Now, if you are finished, you can go to the deliver tab right here this little rocket ship and this will allow you to export all of the videos to your pc so you can upload it to youtube but yeah guys that's basically that but if you guys did enjoy you learned something make sure to like comment subscribe it helps me out a lot like i mentioned before go check out my editing pack down below in the description we have my five dollar one and my ten dollar one i explained both of them to you guys earlier in the video so if you guys are interested in that go check it out first link in the description but yeah guys go check it out i hope you guys enjoy i'll see you guys later peace out